Stuart, let me bring two uh, fundamental areas together. One in cosmology, there's the fine-tuning issue. Is the universe so fine-tuned that it has to bring forth or brings forth human sentience and consciousness? Uh, that's a whole discussion. The anthropic of, principle. The anthropic principle. And then there's the whole problem of what is consciousness. As you look at both of these, how, do you, how would you deal with the question, must the universe, must our universe, bring forth consciousness? The anthropic principle deals with the issue that uh, the universe is perfectly tuned for consciousness. There's about 20 numbers, dimensionless constants, the mass of the proton, the relationship between the neutron and the proton, the charge of the electron, et cetera, et cetera, 20 of these numbers. If they weren't exactly, exactly how they are, all 20 or 22, however. Very, very close, yeah. If they weren't very, very close, exactly, we wouldn't be here. There wouldn't be stars giving off light. Right, right, there wouldn't right, right. be life. There wouldn't be consciousness. Right, we know that. The question is, did, how did we win the cosmic lottery? Because the chances against us are gazillions and gazillions and gazillions to one. Right. So The typical answer is multiple universes, that if you have an infinite number of universes, anything that can happen must happen. Right. And, we, uh, and we're only, we only think we're special because we wouldn't, if we weren't here, we wouldn't think we're, we're special. Right. The idea is that there are an infinite number of universes. We happen to be in the one universe that's, that's appropriate for consciousness. Therefore, we're asking Yeah, there may be more than one, but very, very few. So this is desperate and arbitrary, I think. Uh, another way to look at it is that these constants, these, these, uh, these numbers, are actually evolving and mutating. Because after all, they're embedded in the fine scale structure of the universe, just like mass spin charge. In fact, they give rise to mass spin charge and qualia and platonic values. So they're all embedded in the fine scale structure of the universe. Wait, wait, wait give rise to platonic values? The, fi the, the, the constants of physics? No, what I'm saying is that embedded at the Planck scale geometry are all these the the whatever gives rise to all these numbers these constants which are right, mass right, and right, charge right, right. That, that's what we're talking about right and also as penrose and i have suggested consciousness and the platonic values are also there so one possibility is that the universe the Planck scale is evolving and mutating and changing and within this one universe within this within this one universe it, 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 possibly over, over time over time now penrose has another uh, idea that that the Big Bang was preceded by another Big Bang, which was preceded by another Big Bang. More like serial universes, not parallel, parallel universes, although he calls them different eons in one universe. And he has a book out about that called Cycles of Time, and there's actually some evidence for it in, in uh, concentric rings in the cosmic microwave background from a previous... So what are the implications of that? The implications are that every time there's a rebirth of the universe, uh, it's it, there's mu mutation and evolution of these fine... Uh, and it's selecting for consciousness? What else? Yes, because what is the fitness function? What is the universe evolving towards? And, you know, we say biology. So this is, is a this is a gargantuan teleology that you are projecting. We are proposing that these dimensionless constants that define the universe are evolving and mutating, possibly through rebirths of eons in subsequent eons in one universe. But you have this gigantic teleology that the whole of reality and existence has been somehow structured in this uh, um, mindless way to create mindless? consciousness. Mind is built into the universe. That's the point. 